Hi everyone and today we're looking at doing a weld on some square tubing with the wall thickness being 1.6 millimeters in um, thickness okay and the first thing we're gonna have to do is grind off the blue paint now what I'm doing first here though is just before I grind off start grinding off the paint I've got to take off the sharp burrs on it so that when I'm moving it around the grinder I don't cut myself because as we know the grinder is a very dangerous machine and we don't want to get caught on that okay so now I'm carefully grinding off all of the blue paint because that actually creates a uh, protective layer over the steel so it doesn't rust but it also creates a protective layer stopping the weld from going going straight onto the mild steel so if we remove that that way we get to weld straight into the mild steel and we're going to get some good penetration okay Alright, so that's basically done. Now, stage two is welding off the blue paint for the middle of our square tubing that we've got here. Now, one of the best bits about this part is that it's actually got a beveled edge on it. So after I've taken off that blue paint, I don't need to file the edges of it because it's already got that nice beveled edge that's going to give us a nice welding, give us some good penetration going in the middle. So those are both done. But for the uh, longer part that we're going to butt weld onto the uh, middle part uh, we need to actually file off those edges to give us a bit bit of gives the weld a bit of help in getting some penetration into it there so we're actually going half the wall thickness and we're just filing that and making sure um, after I've filed it now so I'm going to file all the sides and I'm actually I'm not running my finger over it because that's a dangerous thing to do I'm just showing you that I've done every single side because that's important because we want the weld as strong as possible so when we weld it we're going to weld all of the sides so just double check you do every side so that way one weld, one side of the weld is not stronger than the others okay so there we go all sides done now we've got Mr Hunter helping us today do our welding and the first weld he starts off with is a butt weld okay so that's just on the top and then we're going to be fo um, followed up by, so we've got two of those and then we've got our two fillet welds, okay, so on the sides. And we're getting those in. You can see the puddle forming quite well after the welder and it actually stays behind so you can get a good view of it as well.